Hello guys and welcome to my Italian 2006 World Cup squad builder with some amazing players in there including two legends, uh, Legend Cannavaro and Legend Inzaghi and if this video does get to 75 likes I will bring out a Legend Inzaghi review which people have been asking for uh, for the past couple of months really since I've been back to do one but I will do that if this video gets to 75 likes. Now onto the team, you can choose a variety of formations but the best one is 3-5-2 or 3-4-1-2 because there's no full backs, there's no left backs or right backs so really you're going to have to go with the three centre backs otherwise you're playing two centre backs out wide and uh, you're limiting your attacking options up front as well. Now uh, it's got a couple of informs in there and you could have inform Totti as well in there at centre attack and mid but unfortunately we can't get him in the team and there's no other left mids uh, that have survived from the team so we're going to have to have the normal Totti at left mid instead and every player is on 10 chemistry bar Cameron Easy who is a centre mid playing at right mid and I think he's on 7 chemistry but uh, he used to play there anyway so it doesn't really matter and this team is amazing I scored so many goals with this team I absolutely love playing with this team and it's it's so good and it's, it's so like reminiscent and uh, I, I, I love playing with it so we'll actually start off with the team uh, obviously in goals we got Gigi Buffon who I've tried in other teams before and he wasn't that great but in this team he was amazing he was like the best keeper I've used on this FIFA so far he was awesome he made some incredible saves honestly he I I, I don't understand it. He, some teams he just doesn't play well. And in this team he just played amazing. I don't know if it was because he was playing with some old friends or something. But he was awesome. Moving on into the first centre back we got. Barzaghi. Who was actually a reserve defender. Uh, rever reserve centre back. Bearing in mind there was obviously Cannavaro, Nesta. Uh, I've forgotten his name. Matarazzi as well playing. So obviously didn't get that much game time. And uh, you could also choose Zaccardo who was surprisingly in the squad as well. A uh, bit of bit of uh, odd decision to choose Zaccardo in the squad. But anyway, moving on to Cannavaro. If you haven't seen my player review on him, check him out. He is the best, defend best defender I've used on any FIFA. He is amazing. Uh, he's obviously fast. He's got amazing heading. Defending is awesome. Defense position is great. Interceptions are fantastic. He's got low attack and work rate and high defensive work rate. He is just amazing. Nesta is a discard price player. He's good, but obviously... <laughs> That pace, um, yeah, that pace is bad, especially in a three-man defence. He did get outpaced a fair amount of times, but uh, I mean, he's a good defender. Otherwise, I quite liked him. Otherwise, now moving on into the midfield, we got Daniele De Rossi, who surprisingly didn't actually start the final. I think it was Parotta, his old Roma teammate. But De Rossi is one of the best defensive midfielders on the game. Great at defending, uh, decent at getting forward. He's got a really good long shot on him. And he's got great passing and great dribbling. He's just a great player and he's just like the engine of the team. Which is pretty much why I got the engine chemistry style coincidentally on him. Then we got Andrea Pirlo, the set piece maestro. He's got an amazing long shot, an amazing free kick. Good set pieces, great dribbling, amazing passing. And uh, he's got a good left foot for passing and shooting. Obviously his long shot is the best thing about his shooting. But overall, great player to have and great for passing. Right mid, we've got Cameron Nasey, who surprisingly is a bit more defensive in his later years, according to EA. I always thought he was an attacking player, maybe he wasn't, but he's got four-star skill moves. He used to play on the wing, but um, that pace, again, not the best. I think Cannavaro is actually the second fastest player in the team, and he's a centre-back. Says it all, really. Uh, then we got Totti out wide. Obviously, we can't accommodate inform Totti in this team, but Totti's got five-star weak foot, only two-star skill moves, but his shooting, passing, and dribbling is amazing. Obviously, he's slow, like all the other players in the team, but if you can if you can play with slow players, you will love inform Totti. He's, his long shot is incredible, and inform Del Piero recently reviewed him. What a player this guy is. Five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. His dribbling's amazing, his shot is amazing, both left foot and right foot. He's got decent passing and obviously really good dribbling, but he just seems to be in the right place at the right time to score. I love his finesse shots, I love his long shots, his power shot, his finishing, got good free kicks. He's just an amazing attacking player to have in the team. Then at striker, we've got the one and only Luca Toni, the informed Luca Toni. Also done a review on him. Amazing heading, good finishing, his dribbling and pace aren't the best. But he can hold the ball up well with his good strength and he can lay off a good pass to Inzaghi or Del Piero or another supporting player to help the team score goals. So uh, yeah, Inform Tony is 
doesn't really fit into the team a whole lot because the others have got good passing and good dribbling. But he's there just to get, you know, a bit of variety in there with the strength and his heading. And then we've got Inzaghi, very fast player, great finishing inside the box. Decent heading, dribbling is actually fairly decent. And uh, this is a goal a game striker. He will get you a goal a game. Probably a bit overpriced. I wouldn't really recommend him for his price. But if you do like Inzaghi, then you, you probably will like him. And like I said, if this gets to 75 likes, I will do a review on inf on legend Inzaghi. Sorry. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I will leave some highlights of uh, some of the goals I scored with this team. I definitely recommend buying this team. It's very expensive, but it brought back a lot of memories. And it was really fun to play with and to play with these legends of players. So thanks for watching this episode, guys, of my squad building series. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and um, have a good day, guys. Goodbye. Mozzarella, mortadella, mi nutella, Luca, sei per me, numero uno. Stand by for action. Speciale, cozze vongole Prego Foto di bambini Chica Lamborghini Luca, Johnny, Chris, Milioni Tortellini, cappuccini Con martini Luca, sei per me of the week. Colè, Roma, come ville con la piascola piccolo? No! Monaco di Bavaria, se, col campioni del mondo! No! E.M. Ausgaschide, no! Che bello, no! Allora, che bello!